All right, so the first thing you do is you get everything out here ready to go for the old salt steak. One of the things you want to remember is don't wash your hands. That's not a good th sign. Anyway, let's begin. A little piece of meat, beverage, salt, beverage, a little mustard, plenty of newspaper, some aluminum foil. If you want to look at the detail, you can wear your glasses. Anyway, this, beet, this might look like uh, more than enough meat, and uh, I think it is. But, details. When you're making this, that's one of the things you don't worry about, and that's the details. All right, so, got a little piece of meat. Looks like it might be a little bit more than we need, so we'll take a little, a little bit off right here. So this is your basic dinner for two weeks. Set that aside and we'll focus on this half. Alright, got it? Got it. Take care of your mess. Alright, so first things first, a little mustard for the day. Your basic Frenches, you never know how much you're going to need. So you just Use it all. What do you think? Yellow is good. Of course you bought two of these, so you better use them. Doesn't do you any good for tomorrow. I guess I could wear a knee. Let me go find one. Well, looky here, I got a little late. Alright. So, a little mustard, take the extra, cover up a little wee bit, probably want to use that some other day. Alright, so, that's your basic steak out, got a little bit of mustard on it, not too much. Wanna make sure you get it all covered, so you use your fancy basting brush. Perfect. All right. So, got the basting brush pretty much used. And of course, you got to season it. So you season it lightly, not too much. No, you don't want to. You don't want to put too much on. So use it sparingly. Measure it carefully. Well, there you go. You see that? Got it all measured out perfect. And avalanche there. Alright. So, there you go. Half done. So what you say, what are we gonna do the other side? Funny you should have. Oh. Well, we used to side, so. Again, you take your mustard, not too much, measure it carefully, very careful. There you go, right down to the last teaspoon. Oops, forgot. Cheers. All right, so, same process on this side. Take your basting brush, get it nice, evenly spread out. Make sure you clean your brush off before you do anything else. And then, of course, lightly season it. Measure it out. Very careful. Not too much. You can always use a shaker top. There we go. What do you think? That looks like about enough. Enough for this one. Put these in the garbage. And then, what you need to do is cover it up. Gently. Make sure you don't have anything extra hanging on, and you cover it up. Cover it up. Wrap it up good. Yep. Your helper sign out of the way. Wrap it up. Just like so. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Gotta make sure that nobody peeks. Of course, you better read this before you put it. Use it. Not going to be much good tomorrow. 
So we wrap this bad boy up like this. Oh darn, there's an article I was looking for. Yeah, later. Alright, here we go. I want to use a sheet of aluminum foil just to instead of using a zip tie to keep it all together. Ties are my favorite. Alright. Start to wrap it up. The aluminum foil around it as best you can. Perfect. If you have any extra, you might want to use another piece or two. Pull it out gently. And just do that. Roll it up. Put it underneath carefully. You might want to use this aluminum again some other day. Get real. Look at that. Wrap it up. Good. Lay it out. This. And see where we can go from here. There we go. Perfect. Alright. It's looking good. Wrap it up like a Christmas present. It was very good at that Christmas present. Back here, walk it over, tear it gently. There, heck. Still got a little bit left, might as well use it. You don't know what to do with your extra wrapping. There we go. Keeps coming apart, you can always use duct tape. What the heck? Got a little extra. Oh, almost forgot. Big break. Ah. Cheers. Down at barbecue, get around. Let's all okay, so we're about eight or nine hours later, and it's time to cut the meat. So we got a nice sharp knife, and we're ready to go. Any questions? <laughs>